Alright guys, so it's time again for the weekly grind. If you are new here, the weekly grind is me just going over all of the events and summon scotches that are currently available in game, the ones that are open, and just talking about their end date and giving you the amount of time that the actual event is going to end. So if you are new here and this is beneficial to you, please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, also, if you're new here, just go ahead. I mean, if you're if you're already subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that like button anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, so first off, how did you all do in the tournament? Um, if you all want to know, I did really well. I got in the top 2,500. I trolled the second guy in the local world tournament, and I changed my name a little bit up. Um, so I uh, just to mess with them because we were going for second place. You know, second and third place doesn't really matter too much. Um, also, kudos to anyone who gets what's going on on the actual um, screen right now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I got in the top 2,500. Did not expect to get to 2,500, but hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. Really excited about that. I grinded out last night. Let me tell you that uh, the LR Broly with the 30-time multiplier is really, really beneficial. Um, I literally, you do about 500,000 points per tournament run when you do LR Broly on 30-time multiplier, and it's really easy. And then if you get any bonuses, I mean, there was a couple times where I got bonuses in the final round. I ended up with like six to 700,000 points just for that one run. So anyway, uh, top 2,500, really glad about that. If I actually grinded on Thursday, I could have probably gotten to the top 1,000. So I'm going to keep that in mind for the next World Tournament in case it's good. I'm also going to be doing a video in the future on the future World Tournament rewards because I feel like no one's done that and which ones are going to be worth grinding or not. Anyway, so in terms of Global, the World's Strong is the Korra event. Uh, that is available until 10.15, so it's only available till the Sunday. You guys have four more days to grind that out. Uh, this is where you can get the Metal Sudoken Waking of the Intelligence Core, the SR, into his SSR variant, which can be fed into the Physical or the Tech Cooler, whatever you want to do with it. Um, all the medals are available here. Go ahead, check out the event in the news, and you'll see which medals are where. Um, and that way you can get him Doken Waken. Next one is going to be the Kid Buu event that's still running that ends on Sunday as well. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, he's only going to be here for a couple more days, at least a daily anyway. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different cards that you can wake in uh, with that, with those medals. So make sure you run them all out. Uh, two notable off the top of my head are the Goku and the Vegeta on top of the Boo. And I think there's one other uh, Boo, like a Super Boo that gets still can awaken. So go ahead, take advantage of that while he's still here. Um, I'm sure during like the holidays, they're going to let us do half stamina Doken event. They typically do that for like the half year and one year, annual and biannual anniversaries. Um, next one is going to be the guaranteed SSR summons from the World Tournament. That runs until 1026. So you guys have some time. We should be getting the rewards tomorrow, I believe. Uh, tomorrow night for the World Tournament rewards. Keep my fingers crossed for that. I can't wait for that Gohan. That's going to be pretty badass. A um, whole bunch of these guys also Doken Awaken. So all their Doken Awakens, well, except for like that Goku and this Vegeta, everyone's pretty damn cool. And especially this Bardock. I haven't done any guaranteed summons yet, so I'm probably going to be doing that at some point later on in the week. But I'll be doing some GSSRs because there's a whole bunch of characters in here that I don't have. Uh, just because I either didn't grind it out in the World Tournament, um, or I didn't, or wasn't available. <laughs> um, anyway, so the, now moving on to the gotchas on the global side, the Mono Strength gotcha is available till 1025, so you can go ahead and do that. I believe the LR Broly is available in this banner, and then you get two-time Elder Kai, so even if you don't pull the, uh, the Broly, you do have the Elder Kai, so you can go for that if you like to. All these guys come max level, not Z Awaken, but max level, and then you could Z Awaken them from there. Um, it's good for points, I mean, uh, Zenny as well, because once you get a max character and you sell them, like, five five SRs are like a million Zenny, so it's kind of worth it if you're lacking in the Zenny department. Not amazing, but, you know, I mean, you could Baba them, but I feel like you get more worth out of the Zenny because you need Zenny for the future. Um, same thing with the Intelligence Banner. LR Gohan's on this one. If you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and go for him if you want to. I'm not going to say to, you know, don't make it your primary objective. Your primary objective should be one of these two, the Vegeta or the Gohan, depending on the team you want to build. Mono Extreme Team for Vegeta and Mono uh, Super Team for Gohan on the Intelligence side. So if you guys plan on using Gogeta, this Gohan might be someone you want to go for, and you have a chance to get the LR Gohan. Plus you get double Elder Kai's per multi-summon. I think the first four are 40 dis or discounts for 40 stones apiece. So it's kind of a good deal. I mean, you never really lose because you get those Elder Kai's. That's how I view it. But yeah, that ends on the 18th, so you have a little bit to you have about seven more days. I think that's what, no, next Wednesday it ends. Um, so yeah, or actually I think it's Thursday morning for us. But uh, yeah, Kid Buu event, like I stated before, this is just his Doken event, same thing, 10-15, so it ends on Sunday. Uh, before we go on to the JP side, I did forget, we, I want to go on to the actual, see I have, actually I have to go here. Uh, 
for the new. So if you see up here, dbz.space has two different versions. You have v3 and then dbz.space. dbz.space actually has a schedule and actually has the tournament finder. Uh, unfortunately, there's no schedule put up here, which is kind of, which actually kind of stinks a lot. Um, I was hoping that they can give us the schedule. Oh, look, hold on. Here we go. The schedule is actually added to v3. Perfect. Um, from what I'm hearing, we're supposed to have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on Thursday to Friday. Um, I haven't had any official information since it's not on the dbz.space. I'm hesitant to claim that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be th Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, that's typically what they do after a world tournament. Um, it might wait until after Sunday because that's when the Kid Buu event ends, so that we might just wait until next week. But um, it's going to be within the next week that the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku should come. It was already announced on the, J uh, on the JP, uh, on the official Facebook page, so just keep that in mind. All right, moving on to the JP side. Uh, story events are here. Uh, let's see, the story event for the future Trunks arc from Dragon Ball Super ends on 1024, so you have a while for that. 1024 is, what, about two weeks. A little, just a day under two weeks. So you can go ahead and grind that out if you need to on the JP side. This is one where you get the base form Trunks. That base form Trunks feeds into the Tech SSR Trunks, who then Doken Awakens into a Super Saiyan. And then he, this base form Trunks also Doken Awakens into a Super Saiyan and can feed into this physical Trunks and the other Trunks isn't here, but uh, the physical Trunks and the Intelligence Rage Trunks. So you can go ahead and do that. That is a grind fest. So if you guys aren't aware, it's a grind fest. It's such a pain in the butt. I believe it is one of these medals over here that actually is a pain to get him... Uh, find to actually get the drop but um that's how you get him up to super tech 10 going free to play um especially this guy right here he's decent uh, support unit so make sure you go ahead and get him up to super tech 10 if you have the time to obviously you're going to want to do the intelligence trunks first and then this guy uh, next event is the fruit of the tree and might event with the turlist uh so what's cool about this event uh, is that you can actually if you have the intelligence turlist or the tech turlist from the world tournament you can go ahead and grind out this card he drops as an sr uh from this stage, I think it's the second to last stage is the best one. Uh, I did a full video on this, uh, but I believe it's the second to last stage off the top of my head of what you can grind for that. Uh, you can go into that event. So essentially, when he drops, you have him. You can Z awaken him. He Z awakens for like only like not for almost nothing. I think it's a minute under a hundred thousand zenny or something like that. But he Z awakens with the fruit of the tree might metal, so you don't actually have to use a lot of metals. And the other good thing is you're gonna you, when you grind out this level, you get so many of those damn fruit of the tree and might metals, you can go Baba shop them, and you get a whole bunch of Baba points for them. So this is really worth it. Plus, this is a stage that drops. You you can do the other stages that have a lower drop rate of Turlis metals, so that way you have a chance to get the fruit of the tree and might, which is a very useful support item if you don't have good link skills. And Icarus is Icarus is our very good primary unit that you're gonna want to try and grab support unit. They do the the, the, the attack, attack reduction to the opponent by 35% for three turns, so really freaking beneficial. But yeah, this is what you guys are gonna do, go ahead and do that, and this is the Intelligence Trolls I was talking about. There's a Tech Trollist from the World Tournament if you're not aware of that. Uh, but yeah, that's what this event is for. It ends on the 24th as well, so you still have about two weeks to run that. Uh, the This is the Tournament of Power or Tournament of Survival, whatever the heck you wanna call it. Uh, this is gonna be available until 1026, so that's still running for another two weeks and a day. So you have some time to grind that out. This is for the, uh, the Space Form Goku. Um, you got this girl who was from, I forgot her name, like, I think it was Yurin or something. Yeah, it was Yurin. I remember that name because, you know, Yurin. <laughs> uh, and some Ultimate Gohans dropped, so that's freaking awesome right there. Uh, the Ultimate Gohan, I believe this is the Ultimate Gohan, and he feeds into all the other Ultimate Gohans, which is freaking pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, overall, freaking really good event. I did a full re review of it. There's so many things here, like this, Go this Goku is grindable into, I I'm pretty sure this is the Goku that's grindable into the SSR variant, the, un the Undoken Doken Fest exclusive. Uh, the same thing for this Frieza, he Doken Awakens into Golden Angel Frieza, which feeds into that Frieza. Um, and then this Gohan should feed into the Doken Fest Gohan. So essentially that's freaking pretty crazy. Um, I wonder if Yuren's gonna get a Doken Fest exclu exclusive. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually haven't even grinded this out on the JP side. If you guys don't know, I'm, I'm really not a JP player. I have an account, I go on for major events. Uh, I do a little bit of gameplay on there every once in a while just to check things out. But over, other than that, I have some decent characters, some decent cards. But And then we have the Universe 6. Um, event that is running until 10:17, so that's going to be ending in another about another week. Uh, yeah, next Tuesday. So you have until that time to run the event. Um, go ahead, check it out. This is where you get the medals for uh, Hit to get Doken Awaken, Kaba to get Doken Awaken. Uh, the Kaba is decent on a mono free-to-play tech team. So if you don't have him on the JP side, you go ahead and grind him out for a mono tech uh, free-to-play team for like the LR Goku event or the Freeze event, something like that. 
Uh, the Now, in terms of this, we have the Revival Frieza event that's going on right now. This runs until 10.11. That's for the Dokken, ex uh, Dokken event exclusive. So essentially, that ends today. Um, it says 8 a.m. PST, so you have until midnight tonight, or about midnight tonight, on the uh, Eastern Coast, anyway. So that ends today, so if you guys haven't grinded out the event, go ahead, grind it out while you still can. It's ending today, guys. The next one is going to be the um, uh, Resurrection of F that ends today as well. Uh, go ahead, get that. Um, if you guys don't know, this is for the medals that Dokken Awaken all your freezes, like your first, second, third, and final form freezes into Golden Frieza. So th that came out a very long time ago. I, I kind of feel like they shot themselves in the foot with that one. But they, you know, used this event to get all these cards Dokken Awaken. So any of the first form to final form freezes that you have. Now, I wouldn't really recommend the final form freeze except for maybe the agility one. But um, you can Dokken Awaken all of them into Golden Frieza. And um, you also can do that with the Intelligence Frieza, the Mecha Frieza. And that Mecha Frieza, when he Dokken Awakens, he's, you know, he's farmable from the Strike event. And you can feed that Golden Frieza into any of the other Golden Frieza without having to Z-Awaken them once they're Dokken Awaken. So, really, really beneficial. Um, 10 billion Power Warriors, that's the Korra event. Again, like I said last week's video, nothing really special here. Don't even worry about grinding it out other than getting the stones and the rewards. Um, these cards are not useful whatsoever. I'm really hoping one day that we, they become useful. Uh, maybe we'll get a lead for like a Mecha Warrior and then all like androids and stuff like that will be led by a Mecha Korra. And then these guys will all get Dokken Awakens and maybe we'll be useful. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't really think so, but they're going to have to do a major jump if so because these guys all really suck, man. Um, the Legacy of Goku event ends today as well. Finally, finally, the Goku Jr. event is coming to an end on the JP side after being up for like two months. That wasn't really actually two months, it was a full month, but, uh, yeah, it was actually a full month, but whatever. <laughs> this is coming to an end, so today's the last day to grind this out if you haven't already done so. Again, I haven't done so, just letting you know. Um, this is the Dokken Fest for the, um, uh, the Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, or whatever the heck it is we're calling it, because there's so many people calling it different things. I, I believe the official translation was Ultra Instinct Omen, but I know there's still people calling it other different things. So, anyway, regardless, I don't care what you want to call it doesn't matter to me at the end of the day it ends at 10 26 <laughs> so you have another two weeks and a day for this event to be available for you to summon on him and to go up in up in battle against him uh intelligence banner runs until 10 17 like i said before in the global side same thing applies go ahead grind for him for that lr gohan if you want i don't recommend it but these are the two primary units you want to go for and this is i think this is still two time elder kai which is cool so this runs until 10 17 which is next tuesday so you have a little bit of time left on that um, this is going to be the Revived Warrior uh, Select Summon, essentially. It's not a Dokken exclusive summon, but these are all the Revived Warriors that will be good in that Revived Warrior meta category that's coming on, that's happening right now. So go ahead and pull on that if you want. I think Bandai, that's more of a money grab for Bandai. It's like, oh, hey, here's the one banner to get, oh, here's the one banner to get a lead. And once you get the freaking lead, then you can go ahead and summon for on this banner to get all the support units. It's like, really, Bandai? But if you want it, it ends today. So go ahead, try your luck on that if you want to. Uh, the Mecha Frieza ends today, not the Mecha, the uh, Revived Warrior Frieza ends today as well. So if you want him, this is where you're going to get him. And last but not least, the uh, Universe, well this isn't really Universe 6, this is the Tournament of Power cards that are currently out that also ends today. The whole bunch of stuff is ending today. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah guys, that's it. Let me know what else you think of all this. I don't know what you guys are going to be planning on doing. Uh, how did you do in the World Tournament is really the only thing I want to know about because this is more of an informational video. Um, <clears throat> I will be doing some information on the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I did report, record some gameplay of the World Tournament as well. I might throw that up in some type of informational video. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But I'll be doing a couple of guides on the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, including how to farm a super attack, which I kind of already touched upon in the video I already released about the cards at Dokken Awaken. Um, I'm just going to be doing a little bit more in depth on that. <clears throat> and then we're going to talk about linking buddies, team building, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Stay tuned. I have a special collab, my first collaboration that I did and should be released around 3.30 p.m. today. Um, so I, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of killed myself in that one, but <laughs> uh, whatever, what can you do? I will definitely be doing collabs in the future now. I hit my thousand sub and that was the mark I wanted to hit before I actually started doing collaborations with anyone. So if you are a YouTuber and you want to do a collab, let me know and we can set something up. I'm, pre I'm pretty busy with the schedule too. I, mean, I work 40 hours a week, plus I work an hour away. So I, I'm, I'm always freaking busy, plus always th stuff's always happening on the weekends, but we'll work something out. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.